Hey, thanks for clicking on my video. If this video helps you, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and it really helps. Let's get to the video. In this video, we're gonna look at how we can write an inverse variation equation. Now there's two ways to do this. So we're gonna look at two examples and we'll handle each of those ways in this video. So for number one, we have x is equal to four, y is equal to eight. We wanna find y when x is equal to negative 16. So remember our inverse variation equation looks like this, y is equal to a divided by x. So now one way we can do this is plug in our values for x and y to figure out what a is. So y is equal to eight and x is equal to four. So to solve for a, you could just multiply both sides by four and we're gonna get a is equal to 32. So now I could write my equation as y is equal to 32 over x. So that'd be my inverse variation equation. And now we wanna figure out what y is when x is negative 16. So y is equal to 32 divided by negative 16. So y is equal to negative two when x is negative 16, okay? So that's one way to do it. We start with our inverse variation, y is equal to a over x. For number two, x is equal to one half, y is equal to 16. We wanna find y when x is equal to two. Now remember our ratio, excuse me, not our ratio, but for our indirect variation or inverse variation, our products of x and y in, let's say we're looking at a table of values, our products x and y should be constant, right? And that's equal to a. So now we could just go ahead and say, hey, a is equal to x times y. So a is equal to one half times 16. So a is equal to eight. So now we can use that and go ahead and write our equation of y is equal to eight over x. So that's another way to figure out our inverse variation equation. And now we wanna know what y is when x is two. So we just plug in two for x and we get y is equal to four when x is equal to two. And that is how you can write an inverse variation equation.